Shalom. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raha HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, pushing this doctrine of truth to the elect of the nation of Israel, who were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, pursuant to the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. All right, I wanted to do a uh, response to this video here uh, done by the beloved Elder Manat Zakba out of GMS South Carolina 08. He did a video on this devil, this Edomite, um, who was uh, in a debate with the Captain Tazariak from, I think it's IUIC or IUIC if I'm not mistaken. Um, one of them, if I'm wrong about that, uh, you can post it on the comment board. I know it's either IUSP, IU, IUIC or ISUPK, um, one of them. At any rate, um, so they were talking about uh, or debating about slavery in the kingdom of heaven and particularly uh, Isaiah chapter 60 verse 12. And of course, this devil is in a perpetual state of denial about there being slavery in the kingdom of heaven and about the Edomites and the heathen nations having to pay for what they did to the children of Israel in terms of uh, slavery and the way they treated us, okay, since we've been here, all right? And not just here in Babylon the Great, but this dates back to the Roman captivity and the Greek captivity. They have to pay for what they did in the form of slavery. Okay, they're going to be given double what we had, thus saith the Lord. All right, and there's nothing to debate or argue about that. Okay, for the record, okay, you can't debate a punishment that's coming to the heathen nations for what they did to the apple of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's eye. Okay, but of course, this devil here, like I said, he's, he lives in a state of denial. Um, he wants to argue about it, okay? So we'll listen to about seven minutes. It's kind of long, but it's uh, it's worth it because it just goes to show you what you know how a devil moves, okay? They're incapable of speaking truth, like the scripture says. As soon as they be born, they go astray, telling lies. And I'm roughly paraphrasing, but this is a perfect example of it, okay? Even when the truth is written in the Bible. All right, they have to put a spin on it and not be honest or forthcoming about what's written in the Bible, okay? They're just things you cannot argue about. Without further ado, here it goes. Oh, and, and, the, and the, the point was, so based on all this, this devil deletes the video. He flags Captain Tazariak and has the video deleted and it just goes to show you and this is why the, the beloved elder uh, Manata Zakba is calling him a coward and a loser right uh, what you're supposed to do when you are wrong clearly wrong okay according to scriptures you lose the debate you concede you let the person know okay yeah you're right I'm, I'm wrong and you're right and um, yeah for the record yeah this is this is uh, it's a victory for you. I mean, not that this is about a debate because we, we don't get into debates about the scriptures. Okay, this is about telling the truth. Okay, but they call it debates to get views and such. You know, these brothers here, uh, you know, the GMS, our apostles and elders, we do not, they do not get involved in debates at all. You know, we defend the gospel, but that's all we view it as. But we don't, um, or they don't, and I, as a follower of G GMS, you know, we don't post videos and debate with, with uh, heathens or uh, other camps, none of that. That's just, that's all vanity, man. That's all vanity, okay? At any, way, uh, at any rate, let's uh, play the video real quick and we'll break out some scriptures. You're not allowed right. to randomly kill so, them. You're not even allowed to randomly kill your no, slaves. I never even said, even under First Old of all, Testament. I was ran I yeah, when we go on, well, why would you kill them? Because you need them to work. But if they don't do what you want them to do, you kill them. never said I was randomly killing anybody, first of all. Can you and kill a slave all, for not doing said, what you say? Is that, is that in the, the old 
Yeah, that's Isaiah chapter 60. Just say the scriptures say in Isaiah the 60th chapter that the nation will not that will not serve shall be destroyed. Does it not? This is not talking yes about or no. Him. Oh, he's uh, you saw that that body language, man. He's like, oh no. You bring that back. Be destroyed. Does it not? This is not talking yes about or no. <laughs> destroyed. Does it not? This is not talking yes about no. this is does it not? Stress the f, f out. This is not talking yes about no. this. This is not talking yes about no. be destroyed. Does it not? This is not talking yes about no. this. Does it not? This is not talking yes about no. this. This guy is not a happy camper, and she don't know what the hell's going. This blockhead doesn't have no. It has no idea what's going on. That's why two thirds of our people are going to die, and we're going to celebrate that. The the, the clock is ticking, vocabulary. <laughs> the clock as a that's a topic. The clock is ticking, vocabulary. The clock is ticking. The wire. Nation people, nation people, usually of nine Hebrew people, of descendants of Abraham, of Israel, of swarm, the locusts, other animals, goyim, nations. Nations mean people. Here it is, 11 time, people. You go to this, click on this, you're going to, you're going to see H, Strong's H1471 is people, people. Those are not those are not talking about people, he said. No, it is talking about people. Let's go back and listen to that again. Will not, that will not serve shall be destroyed. Does it not? This is not talking yes about or no. people. This is, Does it I mean and this goes to show you just how disingenuous these devils are. Okay, now he's saying this. This is not talking about people. What he just read, Isaiah chapter sixty, verse twelve. It's clearly talking about people. Who the hell is it talking about? Satan and his and his demon angels. Is that who is talking about going into slavery? No, because they're spirits, right? The scripture says, "He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity." Is Satan? bring us here bring the israelites here to babylon the great and put us in slavery on slave ship uh put us on slavery uh, slave ships bring us to babylon the great and put us into slavery did satan and his, his minions do that no we know they didn't right who did his people the edomites right so let's real quick let's get the book of uh, revelation chapter 13 Verse 10, got that on deck because this is the last book of the Bible, okay? Revelation is the last book of the Bible. This is happening during Jacob's trouble, right? So let's read it. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Now, we know who the saints are. The saints are nothing but Israelites. Okay, the elect of the nation of Israel, the brothers who are out here teaching the gospel in these last days, okay, telling the heathens that they're going into slavery. This is what we were commanded to do. The scripture says in the book of Ezekiel to prophesy against Mount Seir. Mount Seir is representative or symbolic of the Edomites okay that's where they dwell okay in Edom so again he that leadeth into captivity well they led us into captivity didn't they here in Babylon the Great okay not just here but in Greek captivity as well as the Roman captivity and what's the common denominator between all three of those captivities the Edomites were in charge and in rulership in all three captivities all right so 
And the, the heathen nations are also going into captivity as well. They have to pay for what they did to us. Okay? It's funny how the Israelites can go into to slavery, but no one else can. They're supposed to be forgiven. All the other heathen nations are supposed to be forgiven for all their crimes. Okay? And the scripture says that the slavery that we endured, it says this in the book of Daniel, was the worst that the world has ever seen. So you mean to tell me the Heavenly Father is going to um, show them mercy for that? No. He's a just and balanced God. Power. So they must be punished for what they did. Okay? So this is telling you right here. This supports Isaiah chapter 60 verse 12. All right? So let's play the rest of the video. That the nation would not... That would just say... The scriptures say in Isaiah the 60th chapter that the nation would... He's hoping like hell he's an Israelite. He's hoping, as, hoping like hell that he's an Israelite. If you're an Edomite, you're going to have to... You, you, you can see, man, the sun's going down on you, brah, brah. Brah. But not, that will not serve shall be destroyed, does it not? This is not talking yes about no. people. This is I just showed you he was talking about people. He has no explanation. Not talking about no. As this is not talking about Once again, I'm it's, asking you a question. The, the, Bible says say that, that the, network... the Bible says that that has nothing to do with you telling someone to give 50. You're literally... That has, okay, yes, no the Bible problem. says I'm just that, asking a that simple has question. nothing to do with if, you. If, if, I tell, if I tell any... if Let's say, Lord allow, if I'm making it to the kingdom and I'm ruling... And this nation of servant is supposed to serve me. If he doesn't serve me, the scriptures say that they will be destroyed. Yes or no? No, your whole your whole premise of your question is totally totally incorrect. But here's what I'm asking. Can I read the verse? Can why, I read the scripture? Why would you Why would you threaten to slit someone's throat who won't give you push-ups? Now, no one's talking about slitting somebody's throat. See again. This is the sleight of hand that the devil uses. And, they, and the word devil means to deceive, okay? They deceive with their words. They are always disingenuous and lying, especially when it comes to the scriptures, okay? Because, again, there's certain things that you cannot argue about, okay? That's like driving down a highway and there's a speed limit that says 75 miles an hour. And you're driving down there and you're doing 85 miles an hour and the cop pulls you over and say, hey, look, I clocked you doing 85 in the 70, 75 mile an hour zone. And you argue and say, that doesn't say 75. That says 85. That doesn't say 75 when it's clearly posted throughout the freeway. And he's going to argue that it isn't posted there. Right. Well, that's what he's saying. Isaiah chapter 60 Verse 12 is clearly saying, it's talking about, in the context of slavery, the nation that will not serve you will be punished. Okay? Point blank period. It's black and white. It's straightforward. It's as concrete as you, as you can get it. Okay? Can't argue about it. Non-debatable. But this devil can't admit that. Right? Look at him. He's red. Doesn't know what to do. Flustered. Can I read the scripture? In the kingdom, if you tell your one of the nations to do 50 push-ups or 500 push-ups and they don't do it, you can beat the shit out of them. I mean, didn't they do that to us? Isaiah. What did they do to us? Huh? They thought all kinds of uh, thought of all kinds of punishments for us. Okay? Where do you think the idea of being tarred and feathered came from? They literally poured tar, hot tar on rebellious slaves okay and put feathers on them, okay what about the 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 practice of it's called four quarters where they would tie a horse and tie your limbs to a horse okay let's say the arms they would tie that to the the horse and then your legs to another horse and both horses would run in opposite directions so they could ultimately split you in half Okay, or split you into four quarters. That's why they called it four quarters. Okay, that is the most brutal, most inhumane way to, to, to destroy somebody, to delete someone. But this is what they did for punishments. Okay, 
You see, these devils think they can go around the world doing all manners of wickedness and evil and never have to pay for it. Okay? What about lynching? Alright, what about hanging people and burning people alive? They were bur literally burning Israelite Israelites. Put them on trees, hang them, and then burn them. Or um, just burn them. Burn them alive. Right? Um, they would um, grape, and you know what I'm talking about, sexually violate the women as a punishment. And make the, the, the husband watch as a punishment. They did all manners of wickedness and evil. And now he's coming, trying to be righteous, trying to act like he has humanity about him. All right, And it's funny how they never want to talk about what they did. They just think that they should be able to get a get out of jail free card and move on and act like, you know, what they did. Eh, well, it's just we're just going to let bygones be bygones. But the Lord's coming to save us, too. Sorry, buddy. That ain't happening. They are 60 and 12. This has nothing to do nation. with you having slaves to Zaryak. For the nation, it, if you're <laughs> serving, that means there's a... That is slavery. Isaiah 60 is talking about slavery. Master and there's a servant. That's what it means. And you serve your it father, says, the devil. For that nation. You said what? And I said, and you serve your father, the devil. No, he's so just, now he's a devil? sore loser. Well, Matthew 10, the Lord a said that they, if they call me a devil, they're going to call y'all devils. He said, um, Vocab Malone did it. He said, but how do you know? Did you text him? I said, yeah, I text him and he stood on it. So he didn't understand it either. Said the same thing to Sinetta, he didn't understand it. And I've never been flagged. Like Cross the Line has. Like we got like Cross the Line got flagged, but I don't know if we had the ability to see where the flag came from back then. We were we were flagged unjustly. Like for video, but no, what I mean is right now when I saw it. I saw that the flag came specifically from him. I don't know if we can know. You could see that? Yeah, look, let me show you. No way. There, let me let me present my screen Did again. Did you get a screenshot? Come on, man. Evidence. It's me, man. It's me. It's Captain C. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shut up, man. That's how you know I'm sleepy tonight. I'm so <laughs> right here. So now I'm going to share my screen again. That's why I didn't want to leave. Uh, let me present my screen, share. So what I'm going to share first, now I did this in my car chronicles, but this is better because you can see a lot clearer. So I'm going to share my screen. So now what you're looking at, vocab Malone. Now that's me, ty I typed that. Oh, oh my right? God, if it's been said yeah. that clean. So it says, oh, copyright content owner, YouTube. vocab Malone. Content owner, vocab Malone. You slither and sloop. Yep, impact on video, video scheduled for removal. This video is scheduled for removal in six days. If you like to avoid a strike, you can delete the video. This is what he did. So what I do, so when I see that now, that's why I was saying like back in the days, I don't know if we could see like who gave us the strike. I don't. Okay, and I'm, I'm gonna stop it there. Just to go, just to show you just how de deceitful and devilish these Edomites are okay they are sore losers you know they can't they can't come up against us in the scriptures all right he clearly lost and he's upset he lost and now he's deleting the video right now was there anything inappropriate that was said during this debate right now I know you only saw a clip of it but that is the that's the part of the video that uh, Vocab Malone took exception to, and that's why he removed it. Okay, he's a sore loser. The scriptures speak for themselves. I mean, some things, like I said, you just can't debate about. Uh, it's as black and white as is, uh, you know, like I said, a, a, a speed limit sign being posted on a, a freeway. You can't argue about, uh, you know, a 75 mile an hour speedway. Uh, or speed limit being posted on a freeway and then argue about it and say it's not there when it's clearly there, right? But this is what the devil does, okay? It, it's a form of gaslighting, okay? They know full well what's written, but they're going to argue against it, 
okay they do everything and anything to undermine the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai right so let's break out some scriptures let's go to Isaiah chapter 60 verse 12 all right now what is this talking about let's look at the subheading what does that read a glorified Zion it doesn't say glorified nations all nations including the heathens this context is talking about Zion or the Israelites the Israelites are known or this is symbolic of the Israelites okay so what is it talking about well this is the kingdom of heaven after Yahweh comes and establishes the kingdom of heaven on earth okay well the kingdom of heaven has to be built and it's going to be built by the Gentiles the heathen Gentiles not the Israelite foreigners who are also known as Gentiles okay let's start at verse 10 all right and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls and their king shall minister unto thee that means serve thee for in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Had mercy on who? This is the Lord talking. The Israelites. Therefore thy gates shall be opened continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. And men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. The heathens. Okay? Everything that they stole, they're going to have to return to us okay and their kings may be brought for slavery for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish okay what does perish mean destroy right they're going to be deleted if they don't uh, serve yea those nations shall be utterly wasted that's funny how this was allowed during their slavery but it's not allowed during ours wrong Okay, it's going to be enforced. And the Lord is going to make examples out of you heathens. All right? Let's jump down to 14. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. Who afflicted us? These Edomites. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel, the Israelites, the chosen, okay, the apple of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's eyes, okay? These heathens are going to come bowing down to us, literally, okay? Again, we went to the book of Revelation, the last book in the Bible, and it told you, he that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity and that's exactly what's going to happen to these damn heathens right this is the book of Joel Old Testament but this is a uh, future prophecy an end time prophecy all right and let's read the subheading the nations will be judged right they're going to be judged for what they did to the children of Israel let's read verse 2 I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel he's pleading for us no other nation whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land talking about Israel okay because there's heathens non-israelites that are dwelling there well they're some uh, scattered Israelites amongst those heathens okay let me let me correct myself and they have cast lots for my people talking about slavery this is what they did and have given a boy for an harlot a swap right and sold a girl for wine that they might drink yea and what have ye to do with me O Tyre and Zidon these are the Hamites the Africans and all the coasts of Palestine Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Why, Lord? Why are you going to return the recompense upon their head? Because ye have taken my silver and my gold, talking about the Israelites, because we're known as the jewels of the Lord, and have carried into your temples my goodly, pleasant things. Right? And this is the point. The children also of Judah, 
the southern kingdom, and the children of Jerusalem, the northern kingdom, have ye sold unto the Grecians, and the Grecians are the Edomites, okay, that ye might remove them far from their border. This is what they did to us, okay? Behold, I will raise them out of the place whither ye have sold them, all right? This is where they sold us, and even the west coasts of Africa, okay? And will return your recompense upon your own head. How are you going to do that, Lord? And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabians, uh, to a people far off, for the Lord hath spoken it. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, the heathens, the non-Israelites. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is recompense. Okay, against the Gentiles, against the heathens, vocab Malone. What are you talking about? Let's go to the book of Isaiah. Okay, let's read the subheading once again. Yahweh's wrath against nations. Okay, let's start at verse 1. Come near, ye nations, to hear and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear, and all that is therein, the world, and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations, and his fury upon all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them. He hath delivered them to the slaughter. Okay, so let's jump down to verse 5. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. This is talking about the nuclear missiles. All right, this is literally isn't talking about a sword, literally being bathed in heaven. Uh, behold, it shall come down upon Idumea. Idumea is Greek for Edomite, for Edom. Okay, and upon the people of my curse to judgment. Now, who's that? The wicked, the Edomites. Okay, they are the cursed of the Lord. We are under the curses, but they are the cursed of the Lord. There's a difference. Okay, because there's no redemption um, for them. They can't get out of their punishment. Um, with the ultimate punishment is for them to be uh, incinerated and destroyed off the face of this earth forever. Okay. So that's a perpetual curse that's about to befall these Edomites. All right. Let's jump down to verse uh, eight. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. What is that controversy and what does it entail? Okay, it says the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. They covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not him, who and where is he? Well, they covered the faces of the judges. How did they do that? By way of iconoclasm. They changed the colors, uh, the color and the appearance and the image, the visage of the Israelites. This is why you see the Israelites depicted as uh, Edomites in their, all their movies. Okay? There isn't one so-called black man played or portrayed as an Israelite, uh, a Latino, or a Native American in their movies. They're all Edomites. Okay, always. And it's funny how they never seem to want to depict the Edomites, okay, in any of the movies. I mean, that's the Israelites' arch enemy. Why aren't the Edomites even mentioned in any of the Hollywood movies, right? You got to ask yourself that. Why are the most antagonistic, the, the, the most vile, the most wicked nation of people on this earth, why are they always left out of the Hollywood movies, huh? There's a significant part of the Bible, Bible history, Bible prophecy, okay? The scripture says Esau, meaning Edom, all right? The, the two are interchangeable. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So if Esau is the end of the world, why aren't we talking about the Edomites? Where are the Edomites? Who are the Edomites? And what's the significance to them, okay, as it relates to Bible prophecy during the end of the world, okay? And the end of the world meaning the end of this age, their age of rulership, not the literal, uh, 
not the, the literal world, the physical world. This is talking about an, an age, a time period of their rulership. Okay? And uh, I want to say the Hebrew word is uh, aeon. Okay? It may be Greek, but it, it definitely means um, one of the definitions for the word world is aeon. Okay? Or meaning in uh, Greek or Hebrew. So you got to put this, you have to be able to put this in its proper context in order to understand the meaning. Now some things are just straightforward, okay? And we know who it's talking about when it's talking about it, okay? When it says that somebody's going into slavery for what they did to the children of Israel, we know good and damn well it's talking about you damn Edomites. You cannot get yourself out of it with your fancy talk, with your circumlocution, and with all your babble. Okay, because these devils are notorious for that. Okay, they convince people to, to believe them because they're, they're good at, at speaking. They have silver tongues, as, as uh, the saying goes. They have a silver tongue. Okay, they win people over by their charm, by their charisma, by their, their vocabulary. Okay, by how articulate they are. Okay, and some of them are, are sound like poets when they speak. And it sounds so good to the ears of people that people are won over by just how articulate these people are. Okay? And you throw some charisma in there with it and people are no more good. You know, people uh, will accept anything or believe anything. They'll believe any lie that comes out of their, uh, that, that uh, enters their ears. Why? Because it sounds good to them. It's that simple. All right. Anyway, I didn't want to make this too long. I just wanted to uh, respond to that because these devils, you're going to see more and more as time progresses, as we enter into Jacob's trouble, they're going to get more and more desperate. OK, and the slandering is really going to begin to intensify. OK, they're going to demonize us even more. All right. You're going to hear news stories. Uh, brothers are going to be uh, locked up and arrested for it. It's going to get bad. You watch. But we got to maintain our integrity and um, let the spirit guide us as it may. All right. Because this is how we're going to get through this. All right. Through the word of our testimony, like the scripture says in the book of Revelation. This is how we defeated these devils. Through the word of our testimony and, the, and through the blood of Yahweh Shai. All right. I uh, hope that was edifying. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.